I was going uh, up in Israel. Uh, it was in uh, Tel Aviv, Jaffa. And actually, I was in the, the, the pool part, the Jaffa part. Every occasion that I could read, I read, and I always seeing myself reading. My father was an intellectual. He said and repeated many times, you need education, you need education, you need education. The research that Nahum Sonnenberg is doing is, is critical to new discoveries. These discoveries give rise to clinical applications that we couldn't imagine. For example, the Moderna vaccines, which had a global impact but based on the research, the fundamental research of Nahum Sonnenberg. A good example of his visionary research is his work on the cup binding protein, which he discovered in late 70s. And this protein recognizes a five prime terminal cup in mRNA and is key for initiation of translation. I got to know Nahum Sonnenberg when I came to McGill in 1988. And I knew him from his reputation. He was, uh, he had a certain stature in the field, so I knew of him. The, the, then I went to, 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 to his lab and uh, it was like, uh, you know, some sort of elixir, you know, the, all, the, all the passion and everything else came, came back. Nahum has been a mentor to hundreds of trainees. Uh, at all stages in his scientific career. To train students, it's a huge pleasure. He's trained many individuals who themselves have gone on to be recognized as leaders in their field. I started my master's and PhD, my graduate school, in Dr. Sonnenberg's lab in 94. It is somebody that really um, views the students and the, the postdoctoral fellow in his lab as, as colleagues, as junior colleagues. I was always admiring Nahum's enthusiasm and originality of mind. He can connect things which are apparently not related to each other into a new model or theory. Without the basic mechanism, you cannot do anything to cure disease or to make life better. This is the message, my most important message. You know, we need more money to find the fundamentals, the basic research. Funding basic science is basically you fund the knowledge. And you don't fund it only for Canada. I mean, you fund it for the rest, for, all, for, the, for the humanity. I would say that Nahum is absolutely committed to discovery. He's committed to understand how the process of messenger RNA translation, how we make proteins, how this becomes dysregulated. I, th I, think, I think that he's just genuinely doing science for the you know, excitement to discover. And I think that Dr. Sonnenberg kept this youth uh, in, in his scientific approach, right? He's still as excited by a result uh, as he was when I was in the lab, and that was maybe 25 years ago. What inspires me is the curiosity of knowledge, or the curiosity to know better. He's able to connect all the dots for you, right? So as a student, if you're smart enough to, to listen to him, uh, it's, it's an amazing uh, uh, wealth of information that you're going to get for him. Uh, the, I mean, it's, it's quite unusual for somebody to be at that, uh, you know, level, to, to, to be so humble, you know. He provides ideas, he provides uh, resources, he provides con communications and connection, but it's really for you to lead your own project. To imagine the impact that his discoveries have had, the impact that his papers have had on the world is something we really just can't put in words. Dedicated scientists unlocked the potential for life-saving medical advances. Canadian Medical Hall of Fame laureate, Dr. Nahum Sonnenberg. <laughs>